do are uh, one day um, uh, working on some sort of setting for some semi-precious gem or something like that. Mm -hmm. You are have arrived mm -hmm. in a sailing ship, mm -hmm. and I'm imagining you with, you know, a gun belt, a uh, I don't know if it's a classic Western, mm -hmm. you know, coat, but it's a little closer to that than most fantasy settings would would have, mm -hmm. um, and maybe one of these bags with straps or something yeah. you know over one shoulder your yeah. seaman's bag and let everything I own. yeah with everything exactly and and you're kind of looking around it's not very cowboy though mm -hmm. so no cowboy boots no cowboy hat or anything yeah. like that but uh but otherwise mm -hmm. it, it has that, that feel so uh young guy 11 appearance you know ordinary looking um with a uh you know, with, with the smatterings of the language, and there has been uh, uh, a recommendation mm -hmm. to you mm -hmm. to uh, speak with Polik, who is one of the Undregi sort of law enforcement guys. Mm -hmm. um, Undregi law is enforced mm -hmm. there. Um, yeah, so, so basically now I'm looking for work and a place to stay. Right, and if you talk to Pulig, then you have a friend who yeah. can, you know, make sure you don't get arrested for something. Yeah. And uh, Oh, and there are other Stygians here, but they don't really live here much. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of people. So there are some people mm -hmm. who speak your language, mm -hmm. and that doesn't mean that much in terms of helping you. Mm -hmm. Not to mention the fact that... Yeah, they, they, they wouldn't be that well connected I guess they're right. mostly there to trade yeah so, yeah, yeah exactly um, and not only that but uh, I'm saying that your character's background may oh yeah make you, you, you there's a reason really don't need word of you being that, yeah kicked there's around a reason background. that I left right yeah. yeah so I don't think you murdered somebody awfully but if you did they had it coming and nobody believed it yeah or something like that yeah, yeah. whatever it may be Okay, um, so the, the, the circumstances then, um, let's set off with some roles, just to kind of get an idea of how your day is going. Um, in, uh, in your case, yeah. there is a, a client with whom you are uh, sipping some wine, Perhaps in a, uh, you know, perhaps in some attractive place toward the, the edge, the upper part of town, right? Where yeah, where you can look. Well, actually, I was thinking along the edge, so you can look out over the ocean, right? So the nicer the, part of town. Yeah, definitely the nicer part of town. Also, don't forget that even above ground, Udrevi think up is worse. Ah, okay. So, so it's, 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 the nicer part of the worst part of town. Exactly. So they are, uh, they, they, you are looking out over the ocean and sharing some wine in uh, a place that is, I'm not, I'm trying not to be too modern, I mean, so the word cafe isn't quite right, but it's definitely a place where you don't have to, uh, where, where people will serve you. So uh, you are having this discussion with a very, uh, ah, with an Undregi fellow who is wearing a hood, which is not that unusual for the Undregi when they come up. They're scared yeah. of the sun, mm -hmm. even at nighttime. Right? So it, they is don't night, it is nighttime. It has to. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. This place is the, open. The town right? works at night. Mostly, yeah. And so the, uh, but the, the point is, is that I, I am thinking that the Undregi are scared of the sun, even when they come up. Because they don't quite trust without a roof. Mm. How do you know that thing's not going to just, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> come up anytime? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Where my hood, right? Yeah. So, I mean, it would make sense. Mm -hmm. Like pale skin, it would be yeah. Good, oh, like, yeah. easy sunburn. Mm -hmm. all that stuff. And um, they, or this fellow, uh, who doesn't want you to use his name because he is of some 
and he has an important spot on an important council, and you're his sort of, you know, yeah, it wouldn't look that you're good. Sort of re- you're sort of recreational, you know, so yeah. so he'd rather come up here and wear his hood and have you not say his name. Fair uh, right. Not too unstandard. A little more so than most because of his status. Yeah. Okay, what's his name? Um, let's see, Poleg was the other fellow, and this fellow, I'm just making up and dragging names with G's and stuff like that. So uh, he's Glil. He is Glil. Glil. Okay. I like that name. Yeah. Um, and so the uh, Glil is, is speaking with you and wants to... Uh, Oh, and says, I came, it's wonderful to see you, and I'm happy to enjoy the wine with you, but I am not going to stay this time. How so? It's not been that long this time. I know, and I'm very sorry about this. I really wanted to listen to more of your stories. Uh, they're, they're so exciting. Um, and, uh, and, you're, and he drifts off, and you're dancing. Oh, well, uh, I think that there is some trouble. Uh, there is, we have some concern. Uh, several people uh, in the uh, in the lower market, lower market, the market market. So there's a name for it. The small market, they call it. That's the area that Unnan and Dregi yeah. do a lot of business when they go under. He says, in fact, why don't you come with me? Uh, but no, I don't know where we'd be safe. That's the problem. You see, there have been some terrible killings. Terrible killings. So they're shot. Yes, people torn apart. And they were at the small market. And the guards aren't talking about it very much. But there has been, there, there, there has been an incident up here as well. I need you to be careful. Oh, the dears, can this be? So this is not common, I would assume. No, no, this is actually a pretty easygoing place, and yeah. the guards do a good job. So you kind of moved here for that very reason. This mm-hmm. feels like something that would more happen in her homeland as a reaction to the more mm-hmm. authoritarian system. So I assume there are rebel cells and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Well, he'll tell you a little bit more. Uh, the people who were killed were enchanters. Enchanters? Yes, and we have some, and, and there aren't many enchanters here. This isn't Sigil, where enchantment is a, yeah. a big deal. In fact, I think your character, the, the yeah, the you fellow know, came uh, from mm-hmm. Sigil. Right. The fellow that you learned from mm-hmm. came from Sigil. And says, this isn't Sigil after all. There aren't that many enchanters, but I'm not sure if there are any left up here, and the one then the famous enchanters of our of, of the Undercity, they are now under protection. So I just need you to be careful. Just tell me you'll be careful. There's nothing to worry. I'll do my best. <laughs> he, his lip trembles. She reaches out to him and tries to comfort him. Ah, excellent. Okay. So trying to both make sure that he doesn't have a breakdown. Let's see. Yeah. And also to kind of uh, Uh help with uh, Mm -hmm. enforcing her opinion among her clientele. Mm -hmm. So in this case, uh, you would be using one of your priestly secrets, the one priestly secret that you know, the rich, the right, you know, as an acolyte of this. Of this delightful so what does it do? it's called nerve therapy yeah. and it can enhance the effects of uh, of several other skills okay. um, so what you're doing is you're going to use your art as courtesan actually you know what let's do art as courtesan and then let's see if you can enhance it with the nerve throw That's okay the- Okay, so, so what should I roll? The way it works is this. Right now, it is not an opposition. Okay. So it's very easy. We're just going to roll. And if yeah. you get a positive result, no, wait, I take it back. You're going to roll and try and get your number or less. 
My number or less. Your number for course zombie. Yeah. Way over at the at the right. Uh, my number for court zombie stats. Oh, oh, all the way oh. to the right. All the way. Move move your finger all, all the way, way over. The biggest number at the end. Yes. The 16. Yes. So I need to roll 16 or less. On D30. On D30. That is and 16 or less. Yes, that is a 12. In the first. Okay, so that's really all there is to it. Yeah. When we have opposed rolls, there is a secondary system that uh, uh, is very much about exactly who does how much better than the other. So, um, so you have sort of... Go ahead, sorry. Yeah, so she reaches out to him, puts a yeah. hand on his shoulder, lets her tail kind of uh, wrap around his leg under the table, trying mm -hmm. to just right. make sure that he feel both sees right. and feels that she's there. Excellent. Now roll for the priestly secret, which is going to be a 10 or less. 10 or less. So it's harder for oh, oh, that is a six. What you are tell you so about, cool. What did I tell you about the dice? Uh, I was going to say, you are so cool. Now, uh, as for you, I think I'm trying to do, make some jewelry. Yes, you and are. I'm really trying hard this time because I want to try to enchant. Oh, you're trying going to try to enchant. Okay, Ooh, then. But I first um, have to. Yeah, right, so let's do one the, step the, at a time. Yeah, metallurgy first. Now, one thing I think that I don't want to do is that problem that many designers have where they don't really understand percentages. Ah. Which means that if you have to succeed in roles sequentially for something to happen, the percentages multiply. And that goes down really, 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 really fast. Yeah. So I think a lot of people don't know that. So I'm not quite sure. Let's uh, let's try the metallurgy now and see how that goes. Um, and the question after that is not that it is terrible. Okay, go ahead. I have an idea of how to do it. Okay, so metallurgy or jewelry? Uh, well, that's good. It's, well, I was talking about setting a gem, right? Let's do um, jewelry. Let's do jewelry. Yeah. Okay. Because you're not smelting that or something. And I've forgotten how to do this. Well, you have to roll a seven because that's a one to one and a oh, two. Yeah. So make it an under ten or up to ten. Mm -hmm. So then the value is a seven. So that's so pretty I've good, actually. Managed. Right. Hopefully. You, you have got the jewelry all set, and that is excellent. Um, with I'm trying, I'm interested in what they say about modifiers. Can you get an easier roll because of something that was achieved? Um, there are lots of modifiers in combat. I don't see why we can't have a modifier now yeah. that you did fine. Um, I think there's something like craft table. So oh, I'm, that's right. We should I be looking at the craft table. Modifier, maybe. I, okay, okay. Good, good, good. That that makes life better to I don't to remember do where it's... Um, I do remember the craft table as well. But there. Uh, oh, it is standard. Standard quality. So that means that... Uh, at this point, that I don't see a modifier to the roll. Okay. Um, okay. So that means that you will get the. Um, what, is, what am I trying to say? That means that you are going to get uh, now your enchantment. Um, mm -hmm. And so, what enchantment are we doing? So it's a mystic science enchantment. So I'm going to try to. No, that that's your level. That's your your rank in enchantment. So, you have to take single or durable or refund. Oh yes, like, I remember. Um, I'm going to try for single. I think. So will it enhance strength, stamina, speed, dexterity, or agility? Um, I go for dexterity. Okay. I want to make it sellable, so I mm -hmm. think 
my idea is some human would like something like that. Okay. Um, and you can do this. Um, go right ahead. Oh. Oh, that's an A. Uh huh. Which succeeds. It's yes. Under your, your value. So for, I'm, I'm really happy about the result. You have actually, you, you realize you're going to fail with everything. <laughs> oh, yeah. like the luck is running out. <laughs> yeah, and luck doesn't do that really. But you no, know, I mean, okay. So go ahead. Yeah. So I'm, I'm actually going to go and show it mm -hmm. to my. <laughs> <laughs> I right. think I, I think I managed. I think I, I got it. I made it. Give me that. And I assume you put it down and yes. get your little ratty hand <laughs> okay. out of there, right? It's right there. Mm -hmm. You've been... This is one of mine. You stole one of mine. No, I didn't. Nothing. Well, <laughs> this, this is... Well, it's not too bad. Thank you. Put it out with the others. Oh, thank you. I will. Excellent. So... The, 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 and then I, I, I can't, I, I can't help it. It's smelling like rats around here again. Keep I this clean, place clean. Right. <laughs> now, uh, so therefore, uh, you're, you've made this. It's, it's actually pretty good. Actually, you, you've enchanted it. What a sigil does is it enhances. Did you pick the? Your um, dexterity. Right. So basically, now the user of this ring. And get an enhancement to dexterity. Okay. Yeah. And so uh, now let's come to you. Yeah. So you're trying to you you're hanging out in the in this community. Um, it's a bustling little trade zone. The ships have come in since the one that dropped you off. Um, cargo from the one you were on seems to have been whisked into different handlers. Mm -hmm. places um the the people who did business there seems to be a good routine mm -hmm. you know somebody uh, uh, uh signs off on something and trade goods are starting to be loaded onto the ship mm -hmm. um you will note uh that you've, you've been told you know this is a nighttime city mm -hmm. um you can move about and do things during the day, but most things are not conducted yeah. formally. Mm -hmm. So therefore, uh, it's, shall we say, in the middle of the night. Yeah. Do I have an idea of where to find Polen, or do I need to ask around? You should probably ask around. You've been told uh, that, the, that he supervises the watch. Uh, most nights, mm -hmm. and so therefore you can uh, almost That's days. Mm -hmm. um, but he he's able to. So yes, you ask a member of the watch. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So that means that uh, let's check your language skills. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and I just want to quickly check the language law rules here are pretty good, as I recall. Um, four leg. Can you show me four leg? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's a critical. If that exists. <laughs> yeah. I mean if if we're just rolling the number yeah. without this attraction, then uh then that it should work that way. Okay then. You have done quite well. Um you you get your grammar right this time. Um and I think that it's not just the technicality of the grammar. We're talking about the impact that you had. Mm. Yeah. The the person, you know, decides mm. the guardsman you're yeah. talking to, mm. you know, kind of gives you a look up and down mm. and thinks yeah. this guy should talk to polling. This yeah. is, you know, he looks like a tough customer and we should have him on our side. Mm. Right. Yeah. So he talks enthusiastically about things. Mm. Yeah. And your language might not be up to all the details, but the, the your comprehension is very good right now. Yeah. So therefore, uh, you'll learn a little bit more about the city. Yeah. 